Hello and welcome back to Perfectly Calm Gaming. We're going to have to do the other Scream TV that I hate. Yay. I don't think there's a part of this game that you don't hate. At this point? True. Well, like, can you think of one positive thing about this game? No, no, no. I wanted the pit there and the pendulum there. Because definitely his little jokes like that are not positive. No. Um, Which I think is really disappointing because that's probably what they put most time into. Probably. Uh, I guess a positive was how much fun I had in the beginning. Did you have a lot of fun though? It, it was alright. You know, it was, a, it was a decent amount. There was some amusing aspects. Yeah. But now it's just nothing but... Nothing but terrible, terrible, terrible platforming and really annoying jokes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yes. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I just had to like slowly watch as that happened. Yeah, pretty much. Actually. I'm going there a little. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Wait, I thought I saw a little Three, hole that I could climb. Like candy. No, but I saw a little hole in the wall right there. Alright. In the hole we go. Oh, God, that's so disorienting. I know. What's through here? <laughs> and it begins. Game? Oh, whoa, 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 back quick. What is that little block? It's got shit on it. This one? Something happened. So something good. Well, that something wasn't good. Ah, this is where I would have been if. Oh, good. Oh, good. Love it. If I uh can't get another remote by the end of this episode, I uh I may drop this. Says the guy that was getting so mad at me for wanting to drop Alan Wake. Yeah, no, I understand the pain now. I apologize 100%. <laughs> I'm ready to move on with my life. <laughs> oh, this is the beginning. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm sorry I ever questioned why you wanted to quit. <laughs> Not every game is worth continuing. Uh, I now know that lesson. I don't know, if you get too heated, I'll try. I'll try and get another one going for you. Okay, okay that's fair. Alright, here we go. Because who knows, maybe maybe the future levels are awesome. I have no expectations <laughs> for <laughs> maybe. Maybe somewhere, <sighs> someone... So Maybe someone somewhere thinks that Gex's jokes are actually hilarious. Probably, like, I bet if I played this for, like, my dad and my dad heard the jokes, maybe he'd think they're funny. I don't know. Yeah, if they even pick up on the audio. Well, it sounds much better when I actually put the... Uh, when I put it out. Oi! Whoa! No, 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 That was a nice pirouette that he did. Like it's so fly like a sunshine. Feeling so fly like a G6. Like a Jesus. Like a G6. Like a Jesus. I'm done. Where's your head? Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Where's your head at? I thought for a second I died. I'm so used to that now that I thought that I died there. Where's your head at? Da, 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 da. So you're thinking that has something to do with the clock that's up there? Yeah. Run! Fucking run! Do it! Do it, you measure! Just run. do it! Nope. I thought maybe I was wrong. It would make sense, but... But know. this game doesn't, so no. why was I expecting anything? Whoa, okay. I like where, I like where this is going. Hey, you get one up. Huh, 
That's interesting. Hi, right, I'd be piecing. Tyler Creighton's Ambers, I guess. Yes, 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 I get it. Your tongue slips a lot. That's nice. Yes, it's a term of phrase. Will you say something that you shouldn't have said? Wait. I believe this is the one that you have already gotten. Yes, it is. Yes. It does not appear that you could just quickly zip around to one of the other sides. So, better go back and try to open the door. Whee! Let me know if all your death, that's, that's always that's a fine. By me. It's always it's a viable option. Fine by me. It's always a viable option. Fine by me. Okay, so I gotta go through this green door. Oh, right, because this is where I kept dying a bajillion times. Mm. I don't remember this. I remember this area. This area was hardcore jiving my turkey. It was like hardcore porn. Like. Beyond. Porn, porn that makes you uncomfortable after you watched it. Like, you kind of just watch it and you're like, can they actually do that to human beings? Like, is that legal? Like, I'm not sure. Like, I know she agreed to do it, but. She had to have. Like, I the, feel bad for her after watching that. Like, there's no that way. It looks like it hurt. Like, there's no way they could have put that out, like, illegally, could they? It's not a snuff film. Alright, it's time. Confusion your teeth. Rams. I designed a sentence with you in mind. Oh, hail Satan. <laughs> Doink, they some bouncy ass skulls. Everybody is looking for shit. <laughs> Everybody's looking for shit? <laughs> you know, you can hear some stuff. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell off. <laughs> well, that would have been hilarious. For me. Yeah, for you. <laughs> Not for me. I would have hated my. I probably would have thrown this controller and left the room. Oh. Then, uh, then we wouldn't have a controller to play games with. No, there's there's a bunch of others in the house. I'd probably go grab another one and come back and then yeah. choose a different game. So are you gonna are you gonna get 100 percent in this game? Ah ha 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 ha! Good job. Hey, you probably get 100 percent in this game. Oh okay. <laughs> no, I need to go through the green magical door that just opened because now there's new levels to play. Woo. Let me play the green level. <gasps> There's a boss. Gexzilla. Yeah, I need 21 of them. Mechares. Mechares. So I need 20. Oh. oh, good. More screen. Yes. Okay. More Circuit Central. Poltergex. Honey, I shrunk the Gex. The Gecko. And, and Prehistoric Channel. Your three favorites. This old cave. Um... Well, out of the three. And you need, what is it, like seven to get to the boss? Yeah. Yeah. And there's only six here. No, there's nine. There's nine. Never mind, we're good. I couldn't do math for a moment. Uh, I guess we'll charge to the top. Oh, right. You need the little green power up and zip it zap. Zip it zap it a zoo. Technology and Shatner still can't get a good hair piece. Even against Shatner's hair. Yeah, God, Gex. Fucking asshole. Jeez. Hey, fuck, fuck you, Gex. William Shatner is way better than you. William Shatner is a historic icon. He truly is. And what is Gex? A failed, failed mascot. He really is. Like, Gex, what did you ever truly accomplish in your life? Other than very mediocrity. Nothing. That's exactly what. Like, I'm not saying I'm winning any Nobel Awards for being amazing, but you know what? At least I exist, Gex. <laughs> At least I'm real. God. Are you real, though, Brayden? Or are you a synth? Nah, synths don't exist yet, so I'm good. Or do they? <laughs> or do they? Well, I see how this is gonna go. This is already looking like you're uh, starting off strong. The fuck is that thing? It's like a little walking. 
the button. Can I hit said button? I think it's a light. Well, the graphics are so bad that I honestly can't tell. Oh, sick burn! Shots fired! Apply Bengay to burnt areas. Why? That hurts! <laughs> uh, ow! Ow! Why did you suggest Bengay? Hmm. I feel like I have used Bengay before, but I honestly can't remember if I ever have. Enough. Get out of here. Maybe I used it on my Pipple Bite. Maybe. Like, that was bad. Yeah, I was doing landscaping in the summer, and I was doing like lawn maintenance, yep. and this one lady had this pit bull, yep. and uh, I guess she didn't know that we were coming, so she like, she's out walking her dog, and then she just let it off the leash in the backyard with all her other dogs, and it came up and bit me right in the thigh, like right in the inside of my thigh, right above my knee, and it made this terrible bruise. And like, I was lucky that it didn't break the skin, otherwise I would have made the stitches and probably had to take time off work. Yeah, like, it was this huge, huge bruise. Like, bigger than a baseball size bruise. It left a hematoma in my leg. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, ever since then, I'm afraid of pit bulls. I, I was never afraid of pit bulls until that happened to me. Until one bit you. Until one fucked my leg right up. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's also why I'm afraid of horses. A horse bit you? A horse bit me in the rib cage when I was seven. Oh! Yeah. What an asshole! I know. That's. I think all horses are terrifying. They're monsters. Like, they're huge! A horse could kill you in a second if it wanted to. Like, you see those muscles on the horse? And they just have, like, these giant eyes that you can never tell what they're thinking. They're just, like, dead-eyed. Horses scare me. See, I rode, like... It was, like, a growing up horse. Not quite a pony, but, you know, it wasn't exactly well, it was a full not horse. Full grown, yeah. And I rode, and then it was like, oh, just tell it to go home, and it'll go home nice and peacefully. And I was like, cool, let's go home. I've had enough riding you. And then it noticed that one of the farmers was putting out, like, hay for it to I eat. He told me this. Yeah. And then it decided to quickly change course, throw me off, and then I bruised my tailbone really badly. Yeah, I've broken my tailbone. That Shit sucks. sounds completely unpleasant. Yeah. Can I, can I stick to this? Oh, yeah. nice. I didn't even think that. Yeah, like... I don't know how all these girls are like, country this, country that, I love horses, blah blah blah. Because horses terrify me. I have had to work around horses quite a bit, and every time I'm uncomfortable. So well, sorry, I guess sorry if, to people that love horses, I do not. Yeah, but, well. yeah well. but at the same time, if you wouldn't have had a bad one, I don't think that you'd think horses are fantastic or anything, but... I had a bad experience as a child, and, and that it's, it's kind of like ruined it. Same reason why I don't like cats. I had a cat growing up that was like, it was half wild, and we uh, bought it uh, to get rid of mice and yeah. rats and stuff. Yeah. When I lived in Vancouver Island for two years. Yeah. Did its job very well, but it would also do its job to me. Oh. So it would like jump onto me, latch onto my leg, and bite and scratch me, and just like chase me around and torture me. And ever since then, I've been really uncomfortable around cats. Fair enough. So yeah, bad experiences with animals that could be violent, not always are violent, but could be. They just happened to be violent to me, and I'm very accident prone. It's a good thing Steph and I are gonna get hit from behind. It's a good thing Steph and I didn't get a cat. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be coming over here very much unless the cat was super nice. Well, it, we would be getting a super because uh, I would check make part, sure the cat was super friendly before anything happened like that. Yeah, like I've met really nice cats. Granted, I'm still nervous as hell when I'm, like, around them at first. Yeah. But, like, a cat's super nice, and it's just, like, super cuddly and friendly, then I can chill with the cat. I don't have any issues. Yeah, no, we would not just be randomly getting, like, a fucking cat that was just at the, like, the pond. It would be, like, it'd have to be, like, a really good cat. Yeah, because, like, I've been around nice cats, but I'm still nervous when I first, like, encounter yeah. them. Yeah, of course. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That was a terrible Scottish accent. That was. <sighs> do you want to keep going to the next episode? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Alright, we're going to take a little rest from this and then try again. Okay, okay. bye.